Welcome back, woodworkers and not. Today's word is bruise, as in the damage we do to wood while working it that we don't realize until we've applied finish and it's too late. This is you first came to light to me in the wood turning world because of the tools we use. You see in wood turning, we are constantly telling people to ride the bevel. The bevel being the edge of the blade right here. So whenever you're cutting, the cutting action happens here. That right there wants the, to cause a gouge to dive down into the wood. So we as wood turners utilize the bevel to push back up so that we find a balance that just slightly shaves the wood. This is done on pretty much all wood turning tools. But if you have a concave situation, like in a bowl, the force you are allowed to put on this point, given that the handle is way back there and the leverage point is right here, can cause you to crush these fibers. Which in a bowl will cause these rings to form all the way around because those crushed fibers absorb oil differently, thus darken those sections in specific species of wood. I've since observed the same phenomenon when you are carving because you still have the same bevel, a short distance from the cutting edge and a lot of leverage. So as you work into wood, you can actually utilize that bevel and crush the fibers underneath it, which in the real world will leave a little line down the crevice of your carving after you apply finish. And that same crushing can happen with a hand plane too. I'll explain more in a second. So what has happened with the wood is you have basically crushed the fibers down. And a lot of times we will see that crush because there is a little line, there's a little dent. You run your finger over it, you can feel it, light reflects off of it differently so you can see it. But what has physically happened to the wood is the fibers have crushed down this way. So what we will do is we will either plane, recut, or sand so that we no longer see that has crushed that dent, that line, that scratch. But those fibers down below are still crushed. So this will look perfect. This will feel perfect. But whenever you apply finish, all these crushed fibers will absorb oil differently. And in the worst case scenario, they will swell back up so your board will now have something that you can feel and see. Now, how often have you seen professional woodworkers take a shaving and then after every time they pull it out and throw it up in the air, showing off their wispy shavings? Something that they might have picked up from their masters over time, but every single swipe they're clearing their hand plane. Well, this isn't just showing off because if you sit here and plane a whole bunch, oftentimes you will start to get shavings that come back underneath the plane right here. And guess what those are doing? As you press down, they're pushing a small line down and crushing fibers just a little bit. So you keep going like that. Not only do they get longer, but you still won't see the indentations until you put finish on it. That's also why oftentimes you'll see the masters, they will push their hand across it just to clear off those shavings so that they don't crush the fibers on their last pass. And this bruising of crushing of fibers is not unique to hand tools. You can do the same thing with sandpaper. You ever notice those boogers? Well, they actually extend down a little bit farther than the rest of the grain. So it might look smooth, but you might have little squirrelies of bruised fibers, crushed fibers that will only pop up whenever you apply the finish. To alleviate this problem, many of us wood turners and wood carvers will oftentimes round over the back bevel so that, that it spreads out the force that we are exerting when we leverage with our longer handles. Sandpaper, the solution is to just replace your sandpaper or clear off your sap boogers. And with a hand plane, as we discussed, clearing out the shavings as you go along and making sure no sawdust is binding up at the tip of the bo bottom of the saw. If you catch that your technique has bruised the wood, the only solution and what makes sense is to keep sanding or planning a little bit longer than you feel necessary so that you can get past 
the bruised wood. Check the description and subscribe for more information on this topic. And remember, it's always worth the effort to learn, create, and share with others. Be safe. Have fun. For today's bonus, I suggest you check out Clara's Wood Shop. She's doing some fairly uh, unique woodworking projects, but most importantly, I think she has some good quality human interest stories that most of us would be very interested in seeing. I'll put a link down in the description.